Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Paulina and as you can tell by the title of this video, I'm going to be talking about my experience with getting my belly button pierced and I'm going to be going over the healing process and the pain level and just like what I use to prevent getting infections in my belly button. Personally, I watched a lot of these videos before making the decision to get my belly button pierced, so I decided to make my own and hopefully it can help somebody. So if you want to know more about belly button piercings and if you're considering getting yours done, just keep on watching. And obviously I'm not a professional or anything like that. Take everything that I say with a grain of salt because obviously like everybody's body is different and everybody's body handles piercings differently this is just what worked for me and yeah let's just get right into the video and let's start off by talking about the actual like process of getting it done so first off i don't think i ever like showed my belly button piercing on my youtube channel before um i got it done like i think two months ago two and a half months ago so i'm just gonna quickly show you guys what it looks like this is my belly button piercing I still have the original belly button piercing in because you're supposed to keep it in for like a few months to a year for it to fully heal and stuff like that and I'll also get into why it's bad to take out your piercing right away and stuff and like the difference between store-bought piercings and like the one that they give you at the tattoo place so yeah but I will get into that later so first off, I wanted to get my belly button pierced for a while but I just kind of thought that I would never actually go through with it because I always watch videos of it getting done and I was like so scared I just like don't like any types of piercings and stuff I only have like the double piercings in my ears and that's it because that just like freaks me out but then I went with my friend Karina and she got hers done at the same place that I ended up getting mine done like a few months later and I really loved the way it turned out and like I kind of just like went with her and she told me it didn't hurt that bad and that kind of like really inspired me to get mine done so finally at the end of summer I made up my mind to get my belly button piercing done and I wish I got footage of it but it was like super isolated in there and like nobody could go into the actual room with me because of covid but yeah i was actually very surprised because it did not hurt as bad as i expected it to um i walked in and like the guy talked to me a lot and i think that helped because i was talking when i got it pierced i obviously had to like sign a form and stuff um i'm 20 so i didn't need like parental consent or anything like that um, but yeah, you just like have to sign everything and like fill everything out and say if you have like any type of health conditions and just all of that stuff. And then he disinfected it and I laid down on this like chair and while he was talking to me, he took this like clamp. I'm so sad that I don't have footage of it, but he took this clamp and he clamped my belly button like this and then basically he took a needle and just like stuck it through and it kind of felt like a very weird pinch it didn't even feel like a needle going through my skin and i think that's because of like the clamping sensation i think that really really helps with the pain level because you're like already feeling kind of like a bit of pain from the clamp it feels like a pinch and then the needle goes through so i think i would rate that like on a pain level i would probably rate that maybe like a five or a six it definitely didn't hurt that bad but then when he started putting in the earring i kind of felt a little bit more pain because he like stuck it through again and it kind of i don't know it felt like a little bit worse like it kind of felt like something going through my belly button and it definitely felt like a bigger pinch but it honestly didn't hurt as bad as i expected it to like from the videos and just from like watching people getting their belly button pierced it genuinely just looked so much more painful to me so i don't really know what i was expecting but i definitely hoped for the worst and it was not that my belly button personally bled a little bit but my friend karina's didn't bleed at all so i don't know i think that just depends on the person so it didn't hurt that bad but then like when i went home and i was like slouching or sitting down it was definitely hurting and it was really uncomfortable i couldn't wear pants that covered my belly button or anything high-waisted because it really irritated it and yeah i mean the healing process of my belly button was definitely 
pretty uncomfortable. I really couldn't lay on my stomach and sleep on my stomach um, for like I would say two and a half weeks, which isn't that bad. And I'm gonna show you guys the products that I use to take care of my belly button and the products that I still use. And I only used two things. I didn't do anything special and stuff, but I know that people talk about just like different things to use for your belly button and like healing it and stuff like that. Um, I know people talk about hydrogen peroxide, rubbing alcohol, just like different kinds of soaps. But personally, these are the two products that I use. So to clean my belly button in the shower, I just used this bar of Dove soap. It's the sensitive skin one and it has no scent and it's just really gentle. This is a new package because I get it in like a pack of multiple bars, but yeah, I'll show you guys what it looks like. It's just your basic like little Dove white soap bar. I just decided to use this because my friend Cindy also has her belly button pierced and she uses this soap and she said like hers never got infected and stuff and I personally just like use like the bottle body wash version of this so I decided to get it because honestly Dove never fails me and it never irritates my skin and that's honestly like one of the only body washes that like doesn't make my skin itch and break out when I use it in the shower so I just figured that this was the best thing to use for my belly button just because of the way like my skin reacts so yeah I would recommend it because it's just really gentle and nice has no scent like nothing to really irritate your skin so I feel like it's a good gentle soap for cleaning your belly button and then to actually like take care of it and like clean up multiple times a day with a q-tip or like soak my belly button I used saline and this is just a bottle it says normal saline it's basically just salt water I got this bottle from my mom because she's a nurse so she just has a bunch of unopened ones of these so she just gave me one you can get it at the store um pretty much anywhere and obviously you can get this dove bar anywhere too like target walgreens cvs all those kinds of places so i decided to go with the saline and use this on my belly button because at first i began to use hydrogen peroxide and i used that for like two days and then my mom was like no like don't do that like that's gonna irritate your skin and it kind of was because like you know how if you put hydrogen peroxide on a wound like I don't know if anyone has ever used hydrogen peroxide but it kind of like fizzes um yeah it's so, like I don't know I just felt like I just didn't want to keep putting that on my belly button because it was kind of turning redder and I didn't want to use rubbing alcohol because I just felt like that would sting and like if it went like inside the hole like I felt like that would just hurt really bad so I just decided to use saline and honestly I was really happy with using this because a saline solution is really really gentle and it doesn't sting and it didn't like irritate my belly button at all and it helped the redness go down a lot so that's what I would use and for the first three to two I think two to three weeks I just kind of like put this on either a q-tip or on a little cotton ball and like put it on my belly button just kind of like either soaked it in it or like cleaned it and stuff um probably i would say like three times a day or any like time of the day that it would start to feel like irritated or kind of hurt a bit i just like consistently use this and i would use this after every single shower as well and it helped a lot and i would definitely recommend like as much as you can take care of your belly button and use saline or use something to clean it and like disinfect it the better because it's a wound so you have to keep taking care of it also i avoided touching my belly button unless i would clean it or like clean it in the shower and stuff i didn't touch it and that was really hard for me to do because it was obviously like a new piercing in my body and i wanted to keep like touching it and every time it would hurt i would kind of adjust it and also i wasn't used to the fact that like the piercing sometimes would get stuck or like kind of like twist around so I would kind of keep touching it and I noticed that that was irritating my belly button so I really had to not touch it too much during the day um, I had to wear basically everything low rise for like two weeks which I definitely wasn't used to and I didn't think of that because I honestly never wear anything low rise like all my sweatpants leggings jeans are high rise so yeah I didn't think that through and I wasn't used to it and I had to basically like roll down all of my pants and I wore a lot of biker shorts and just kind of like rolled them down and tucked them in so like nothing could really be like 
touching or constricting my belly button and I think I did that for like two weeks and then after that it didn't hurt to like put like fabric over my belly button anymore so yeah I would definitely suggest just like letting it breathe for two weeks because that's gonna help it heal a lot so then after like two to three weeks it honestly stopped hurting and I didn't really like even notice that it was there anymore then after the two to three weeks I honestly just use this like once a day now and I still use this bar soap to clean my belly button in the shower and I'm probably gonna keep doing this just because it's gentle and I need something to clean it with anyways so yeah I'm still doing this and I clean my belly button with the saline still twice or once a day basically after like a shower and stuff like that just because I feel like it's been helping it a lot from getting infected and like even though your belly button may look healed on the outside and everything may look fine you really never know if it's healed all the way on the inside and stuff so it's better to just like keep taking care of it for the first few months even if it looks like it's healed and fine which gets me into the part where I was talking about the difference between the belly button piercing from the tattoo place and a belly button piercing that you just like go buy at a store or something like that so I found this out from another video but I noticed this but at first when I got my belly button piercing I kind of was like maybe this one's too big for me because the bar seemed really long and it kept kind of like popping out of my belly button and basically at first I thought that maybe the bar was too long for me but then I actually found out that that is good if you get a long bar and they give you specifically a bigger piercing because your skin around it needs room to heal and that's why they give you a longer bar if you switch out your belly button piercing way too soon and stuff it can get like really badly infected because i mean first of all you're just like not supposed to touch it and not supposed to like switch anything out and take it out because it's probably going to be painful but also because the bar and the piercing that you would buy at the store they're a lot smaller than the original one that they give you so if you switch that out and put it in the bar is shorter so there's a lot less room for like the skin around your belly button to heal so it may not like heal properly and stuff so i would just keep that in mind if you're thinking of switching out your belly button piercing and it hasn't been like a few months yet and also another thing that i heard about the saline is it's good for scarring and it's good for like scar tissue and it prevents like your belly button from basically like growing scar tissue or rejecting your piercing which i guess i heard that can happen like your skin and like your body can just decide that it doesn't want that piercing inside it and it can i guess like reject it and start to get infected and like scar and grow scar tissue which is so scary but I don't really think that's common I just heard that that does happen and personally nobody I that I know that has like ever happened to so yeah but I heard this helps with that so that's also part of the reason that I would recommend using this you know just in case but yeah so that's kind of what I learned and right now after two months it honestly doesn't hurt anymore I would definitely recommend getting it I actually really like it and I feel like it makes all of my clothes and outfit just looks so much cuter whenever I show off my belly button but yeah those are just like my overall tips I don't really do anything special these are the only two things that I use to take care of my belly button and yeah I hope you guys enjoyed this video and if it was helpful don't forget to like comment and subscribe and I'll see you guys in my next video